Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to Physics Form 4 class for DLP with me, Cikgu Hasnita. So, what do you think of our first lesson? From the two activities conducted earlier, we have discovered that number one, gravitational force is a force which exists and acts in between any two objects in the universe. Yes. And then second, according to Newton's universal law of gravitation, it states that this gravitational force is, yes, directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two bodies and inversely proportional to the square of distance between the centers of the two bodies. Very good. So since you are clear with that, I guess now we can move with the second learning standard where I hope each and every one of you will know how to solve any problems involving Newton Universal Law of Gravitation for all the followings. Number one, for two static objects on the Earth. Second, for objects on the Earth's surface. Number three, Earth and satellites. And number four, Earth and the Sun. Okay, students, before I forgot uh, the exercises for this lesson provided in the video description below. So, you can download and print them up if necessary. Okay, so are you ready to begin with our lesson? Very good. Let's check on our first activity today. It is activity 3.2, which you may find in your textbook on page 81. So in this activity, we are going to solve a problems involving Newton Universal Law of Gravitation for two bodies at rest on Earth. Okay, so you have to work in pairs so you can find your partners. Okay? Ask your parents or your sisters to uh, help you in these activities. Second, imagine you and your partner are these two bodies at rest on Earth. Okay, where you have to record your mass as M1 and the mass of your partner as M2. And then number four, you have to calculate the gravitational force which exists in between you and your partner using the masses and distance given in the next table. And then number five, you can change partners and repeat this step for number three and number four. Mm, sounds interesting, right? Okay, students, so let's work out with this table together. So you can see here P1 is the first pair and P2 is the second pair where M1 is your body mass and M2 is uh, your partner's body mass. Okay, so you can fill up this table according to your mass and the mass of your partner. For P1, for example, if you're doing with your siblings, you write the mass of your sibling, here, either your brother or your sisters. And for the second pair, let's say you're pairing with your parents, okay, your mother or your father or anyone will do. So you would write the mass here. Okay. And for these two activities, both are standing in two different distance. So the first is two meters and second is four meter. So for each mass and distance, you have to find what is the gravitational force acting in between the two person. Uh, by using this equation of F equal G M1 M2 divide R squared where the magnitude for G is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. This G refers to very good gravitational constant. So students, you can take your calculator and try to fill up your table now. As for my table, when M1 is 55, M2 65, at a distance of 2 meters, the gravitational force acting is 5.69 times 10 to the power of negative 8. And when the distance increases to 4 meter, what happened to the force? It now 1.49 times 10 to the power of negative 8. And for the second pair with M155 kg, M275 kg at a distance of 2 meter, the force acting is 6.88 times 10 to the power of negative 8. And when the distance is 4 meter, now the force acting is 1.72 times 10 to the power of negative 8. So I hope you have filled your table as well. 
and now let's check on the discussion part well i hope you enjoy doing the first activity and since you're carrying it at home so this is one way to get closer to your siblings and to your parents nice isn't it okay students so let's check on the question which we have to deal here number one how do the masses of the two bodies influence the gravitational force acting between them so what do you say so from our previous activity you can see that for the first pair at a distance of two meters where these are the two masses of the two person the force acting between them is 5.96 times 10 to the power of negative 8 newton while for the second pair at the same distance of 2 meters with these masses, the force acting is 6.88 times 10 to the power of negative 8 Newton. So actually, our variables, our manipulated variable in here is, yes, the product of masses of the two bodies, which will affect the gravitational force acting in between them when the distance is constant at 2 meter. So how to respond to this question? What do you say? Very good. So we say that the bigger the masses of the two bodies, the greater the gravitational force acting between them. So this obey Newton's universal law of gravitation where it say that when the product of masses of the two body increases the gravitational force acting increases yes very good okay now let's check on the second question what is the effect of the distance between the centers of the two bodies on gravitational force acting between them so now from the diagram you can see that okay for the first pair at distance of 2 meter, the force acting is 5.96 times 10 to the power of negative 8 Newton. And when the distance increases to 4, you can see what happened to the force. Yes, it is decreases to 1.49 times 10 to the power of negative 8 Newton. And same goes to the second pair, where at a distance of 2 meters, the force acting on them in between them is 6.88 times 10 to the power of negative 8 newton and when r increases to 4 again you can see the force decreases to 1.72 times 10 to the power of negative 8 newton so how to answer this yes by this we say that as the distance between the centers of the two bodies increases the gravitational force acting between them decreases again it obeys newton universal law of gravitation where it say that yes gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of distance of center of the two bodies and now let's check on the third question what will it be okay why is the magnitude of gravitational force between you and your partner is small okay why the value is so small can you guess yes students actually this is due to the masses the gravitational force between the two bodies of small mass has a very small magnitude so if we compare our mass compared to the mass of planets or the earth itself our mass is considered as very small in magnitudes where there is no apparent effect on the gravitational force acting between them okay so by this we have solved all the questions in the discussion part well student i guess from this activity now you have understand why we cannot feel the force of attraction between ourselves and our partners who stand next to us this is due to our small magnitude in mass where the force acting is only about 10 to the power of negative 8 newton so very small very weak okay so that's why we say there is no apparent effect on gravitational force 
acting okay and how to conclude this activity let us state what is the effect of mass and distance between the centers of the two bodies on the gravitational force okay look at the first diagram so what is the factor effect gravitational force here very good it is the mass so we say that yes say that the larger the masses of the two bodies the larger the gravitational force acting where f2 is greater than f1 okay and for the second diagram now the masses are all the same but the factors of fact is now the distance yes very good so how does distance affect the gravitational force so we say that the greater the distance between the centers of the two bodies the lower the gravitational force acting where f2 is now less than f1 okay students so we have done with the first activity on solving a problem involving newton's universal law of gravitation for two static subjects on the earth and now let's continue for the next three object on the earth surface earth and satellite earth and the sun so the first question is as you can see from this diagram you are asking to find the gravitational force on the main made satellite before it launch again what is the gravitational force on the main made satellite before it launch so this is all the given information for this question okay you are given the mass of the earth where we label it as m1 and the mass of the satellite represent by m2 and this is the radius of the earth and gravitational constants g okay so we are looking for this f gravitational force so remember before the rocket before the satellite was launched where is it at very good before launching the satellite will be on the surface of the earth so what is the formula we are applying here yes indeed it is newton universal law of gravitation equation where f equal g m1 m2 divide r squared okay so we do the substitution where this is uh, the gravitational constant this is the mass of the earth mass of satellite and we took the radius of the earth as the distance so you will end up with f 6 uh, 11,776.13 Newton. So this is the gravitational force acting on the main main satellite before it launched. Okay. So now let's check on the second question. Number two. Okay. You have to compare the mass of the earth, the main main satellite and the sun. So where are the masses? Here they are. Okay, you are given the mass of the sun, 1.99 times 10 power of 30 kg. For the earth, it is 5.97 times 10 24 kilogram. And for the satellite, is 1.20 times 10 3 kilogram. So how we compare their masses? Very simple. Yes, indeed. So we say mass of the sun greater than mass of earth greater than mass of satellite or the other way around mass of satellite less than mass of earth less than mass of sun okay how about 2b okay in 2b again you have to compare between the earth satellite distance and the sun earth distance okay where are the positions of all these three so this is the distance from the sun and the earth as you can see given by the yellow arrow and for the earth and the satellite the distance is given by the pink arrow so how we compare the distance yeah so we say distance between okay uh, this is the value given okay distance between the center of the earth and the sun given by r 1.5 times 10 11 meter while the distance between the earth and the center of the satellite is given by h 4.22 times 10 7 okay so how to compare yes distance of the earth sun greater than distance of the earth 
satellite. Okay. And now, let's continue with question 3. Okay, now you have to make a prediction. Predict the difference in the magnitude of the gravitational force between the Earth and the main mid satellite and the gravitational force between the Sun and the Earth. So, which one greater? Is it between Earth and Sun or Earth and satellite? You are given masses for all three. So, do the distance. Okay. So, at a glance, what can you say about the difference? Which one has a greater magnitude? Which one has a less magnitude? Okay, very well. So, actually, from this equation, where F equal G M1 M2 divided by R squared, and from our observation, from the masses and distance given, so we can say that the magnitude of the gravitational force between the Sun and the Earth is greater. Yes greater than magnitude of the gravitational force between the Earth and the main main satellite. Okay? And now, let's check on question 4. Okay, before that, so we can, uh, it is represented by this symbol. So, F in between Earth and Sun, greater. We label it with a bigger F. While Earth and satellite, the gravitational acting is lower. Okay? And number four, okay, you have two questions there, A and B. First, find or calculate the gravitational force between the Earth and the main mid satellite. Second, uh, find the gravitational force between the Earth and the Sun. Again, you are given with all masses and different, okay? So, how to solve for number four? Okay, we check on A first. Okay, this is the gravitational constant. So, to find the gravitational force between the Earth and the main mid satellite, again, we apply, yes, F equal G M1 M2 divide R squared. Okay, so G, uh, how to find R here? Remember students, R is distance between the centers of the Earth and the centers of the satellite. So, if you look from this diagram, this is the center of the Earth. So, the radius is 6.37 times 10 6 meter. And this is the distance uh, from the Earth's surface and the center of the satellite given by H, 4.22 times 10 7 meter. So, to find the radius, uh, to find the distance between the center of Earth and satellite, so we must plus these two value R plus H. Okay? And then we do the substitution into the formula. This is a gravitational constant. Again, mass of Earth, mass of satellite, and this is R squared. Okay, R plus H. So, you will come up with 202.56 Newton. Okay, so the magnitude for the gravitational force between the Earth and the main mid satellite is... Yes, 202, 202.56 Newton. Okay, now let's check on B. Okay, for question B, this is the diagram. You have to find the gravitational force between the Earth and the Sun. Again, we apply F equal M1, M2 divide R squared. So this is gravitational constant, mass of Earth, mass of sun and this is the uh, distance between the center of both r squared okay so you will get f equal 3.52 times 10 to the power of 22 newton okay so what do you think about question one two three and four nothing difficult right okay so now let's check on question five well, I guess we have come to our final question for today. So, let's check with question 5. Okay, you are given the gravitational force between the Earth and the Moon is 2 times 10 to the power of 20 Newton. So, the question is, what is the distance between the center of the Earth and the center of the Moon? So, now we are looking for R where G is given as 6.67 times 10 power of negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Okay, students, how to find R? Come on. Okay, 
very good okay so before that this is the related diagram earth there is the moon and this is the distance between the center of both and given the mass of the moon is 7.35 times 10 22 kg while the this uh, the mass of the earth is 5.97 times 10 24 kilogram so again our first step Okay, is to identify all the given information and then second to check on the applicable formula where again we apply F yes equal G M1 M2 divide R squared. Okay, and then the third step substitution. Very good. Okay, so we substitute. Make sure you put them in the right home. Okay, so from the equation, so we bring r squared to the other side so this is g mass of earth mass of the moon and this is the force okay the force we bring it uh, to the right side down here okay so then we find the square root so r will be okay how to read this 382,541,674 meters very difficult to pronounce that. so we uh, write it in a simpler form in a standard form of 3.83 times 10 to the power of 8 meter remember student whenever you do a calculation your final answer you can place in between 2 to 4 decimal places okay 2 to 4 decimal places is nice well that's all with part 2 where in today's lesson, we have applied Newton Universal Law of Gravitation in solving four cases. Number one, for two static objects on Earth. Second, an object on the Earth's surface. Yes. And then number three, in between the Earth and satellite. And number four, between Earth and the Sun. So I hope this session helped you in understanding this topic in a better way. And don't forget to join me again in our next lesson, part 3, where we are going to discuss what is the relationship between G, gravitational acceleration, and capital G, gravitational constant. So to know how can we relate them, make sure you don't miss our next lesson. Till then, students, take a good care of yourself, stay at home, stay safe. Don't forget to revise all your subjects. Assalamualaikum. See you soon and bye-bye for now.